Hey. Like machetes. Like, uh, it's like cut. Yeah, but they have a car, Yo, what is up, Gabby Nation? How you guys doing? Welcome back to another CG's Daily Vlog. I am watching Bazinga's YouTube video where he's playing with Danny Williams and Alex Hunter. I'll show you guys in a sec. There it is. He's playing like a little mini journey, but it's like the. It's not really a journey. I don't fuck that. Now, what do you guys think of this? UFC 3. Would that be a good game to play as well? Maybe. Just maybe. This should be good. It's a fighting game. It's a WWE. Um, <laughs> this is mad. Barcelona just scored two goals right in two minutes. There's goal. Messi scored two goals now. Mars <coughs> yeah, so. is gonna win easily for sure. Oh! Please! Celta, do something! People are still talking about this Logan Paul situation. It's gone crazy that people, so many YouTubers have talked about it. Draw Miller, like I mentioned, Comic Shorts Gamer, Christian Del Grosso, EB Family, and now Megan McCarthy, another Viner. I can't remember who else talked about it, but there's so many others that are obviously talking about it, including myself, which I mentioned in my vlog, I believe previously, or the one before, probably. But it's just crazy that. It's just very controversial, which, you know, we can't really avoid the whole situation with the whole Logan Paul thing, which is very unfortunate, but, you know, it's, it's just very insane. By the way, I took down the tree because, unfortunately, Christmas is over, so I have to get rid of the stuff. That's where all the cords are at right there. As you can see over there, I don't know if it's hard to see, but those are all the, you know decorations are the lights the star and the tree itself right there the fact that one of my very my very first react video and it was on well not on this day but it was on yesterday january 10th 2016 it's been two years since i did my very first react reaction video with when i was reacting to comedy shorts gamers ice bunny ice bunny ice challenge where you puts ice in his mouth just like they are putting water in their mouth they put, uh, he puts ice in his mouth with his dad. The more, he keeps putting more ice, ice cubes each time to say ice bunny. Or chubby bunny, but he says ice bunny. And just tries his best to say ice bunny. As much as he can with that many, <clears throat> that many ice cubes. Speaking of reactions, I posted my CG's React episode 57. It might be in the description, if not in the top right corner in the eye. You guys can go... Check out the reaction right there. Because I did it in the description right here. If not, in the top right corner. You guys can check out my reaction to Dashi's video, I believe. I believe it's Dashi's video. So, yeah. like, like Link in the description, top right corner, guys. Hope you guys do enjoy my reaction. I think it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. For sure. Not one. Not two. Not three. Not four. But five more goals. God damn Barcelona. They just scored in the minute 87th minute of the game and it's already five fucking zero six to one in an aggregate. Hello there. It's almost been a year with this docky. Ah, looking back at the dog just almost a year from now, it's gonna be crazy just Bad. Damn, like he grew like a year's, you know, in a year he grew. <sighs> so it's wild. It's full time. 5 0 was the score between Barcelona versus Celta Vigo. Barcelona advances to the sem to the next round. I believe it's the semifinals, if not the quarterfinals. I think it's the quarterfinals, I believe. Yeah, it's the quarterfinals. We'll find out who their opponent is eventually. But sucks for Celta. Unfortunately, they didn't make it. I'm sorry for Celta. You know, you did your best. I mean, you guys tied in the first leg, but unfortunately didn't do any good in the second leg. So I'm sorry you guys didn't, you know, going down through memory lane once again. Just looking back at this one video from Blame It on Jorge. I think that's the username. Blame It on Jorge, yeah. 
from this 10 episodes of kids shows that dealt with serious issues. And the, definitely Mr. Rogers was definitely an impact on me when I grew up watching Mr. Rogers. <clears throat> and I mean, now that I know that he's dead, unfortunately that he's, he's gone, we don't have his guidance for like any, in case if we need help with any problems, that we can sit down and just talk to somebody. And you know, he's he's been there whenever we need him for advice sometimes, because he usually talks about it in his sit down you know, moments in the show and just talks to us and he looks at us and he's like, if he's there, he's there on the, on the screen just talking to us and speaking to us what his thoughts and his, you know, about, about the any problems that he's, you know, that we could be going through or anything going on outside the world that we don't know about. Link to this speech right here, which, you know, I definitely, you know, it's true about like, since this last episode, I think in August 31st, 2001 was his last episode in his retirement episode due to the fact that he had uh, a cancer, I think, in his stomach, I believe. I was so awesome. Just listen. I walk down the street and someone <clears> 20 <throat> or 30 or 40 years old will come up to me and say, And it's just not the same. Mr. Rogers, aren't you? And then they tell me about like, I feel impacted just to hear him in his last appearance on TV. Yeah, hopefully you can hear this. Yeah. Music and art and dance and sports and drama and computers and writing. Yeah, it's just, for me, it, I have the feels just every every time I see this so often. Right here. I'm just so proud of all of you who have grown up with us. And I know how tough it is some days to look with hope and confidence on the months and years ahead. But I would like to tell you what I often told you when you were much younger. I like you just the way you are. It's such a good feeling to know that we're lifelong friends. Always. And forever. Just enjoying the end of that fucking world on Netflix. Enjoying it. I was actually enjoying it too. This is like, she actually joined the third episode. Which is the one I'm stopping at. But we're recapping it because she's gotten into it. Playing the journey at this time, right? It's Dina. We joined the PSG, like, I, like it's, you guys saw in my one of my previous vlogs. Playing the journey, and I chose PSG. More cutscenes, which I agree with. Not HD game. Game, I agree with the cutscenes. We need more of these. <coughs> Hmm. Now that's interesting. This is why I called. I would like your opinion on who would you think would work best alongside you. <sighs> His face. Believe <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> me when I say top metallic Alex. You should select striker partner. Select strike partner. Guys, I got three options. I can either pick between Tommy Smuller from FC Bayern, German strike, center forward, 86 overall, Antoine Griezmann, 88 overall striker, French from Atletico Madrid, or Dele Ali Cam, 84 rated English, Tottenham Hotspurs. If you were me, guys, I'm gonna make a poll. Let's see if I can do it. Let me know in the comments, or if not, in the top right in the eye, and vote who, if you were me, who do you guys would pick between me, Thomas Mueller, Griezmann, or Ali? I picked Griezmann, and I honestly like Griezmann because of his overall. Even if it means I won't be the striker, but hey, it's not bad to score sometimes, so I'll take Griezmann any day. I'll choose Griezmann, even though these other two are good choices too. That's true. That's for sure. Cheers. This is just great. Just love loving this journey so far. Mr. Griezmann. 
Hey, don't get me wrong. I want to score goals for myself too. No. Damn. Not like this. That's sad. I don't even play with Griezmann. Oh. That sucks. You can't even play any matches for that. Damn. I was literally about to watch him in this Amanda Padisi's live stream on Yuna, but she just ended it as soon as I got out of the shower. That's what I've been up to. It's gonna wrap up today's vlog. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, smash that thumbs up button. Social media in the description. Previous vlog will be in the description around the top right corner. I'll try to do my best to put my reaction in the top right corner as well. If not in the description, we'll see. You guys will find it. Hope you guys did enjoy my vlog though. I feel better. I'm almost 100% like I said. So you guys, Chris me out. <coughs> Can't even do my outro. You guys, Chris me out. See you real soon. See you guys in the next vlog. And peace. Take care, guys.